Okay, so you keep hearing about why you should travel solo, everyone's talking about it, so many blogs, YouTube videos, your friends are talking about it, it's all over Instagram, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. You have no interest in traveling solo. You don't want it. Not interested. You don't care. You don't care. Nice. But what do you do in those cases? Well, here's the thing. I travel solo a lot because although I'm a travel blogger, but the truth of the matter is, I mean, I actually prefer being in a group. If I'm gonna be honest, even if I take the plane physically, I always find myself ways to get with other people. So in this video, I wanna give you alternatives if you want absolutely nothing to do with traveling so you don't care, okay? So let's get to it. So things that, that you could do. Um, number one. That one, I have a list here. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be rambling all over the place. First thing you can do is look for travel buddies online. There are so many different groups um, nowadays. I've even seen like so many different websites. You have Facebook groups, you have meetups, you have a lot of channel where you can meet other solo female travelers and try to coincide your dates so you could have a travel partner. I can make another video on that. If you, if anyone's interested, leave some comments. I can do some more detailed video about places where you could meet these people. Another reason, um, you could go solo, meaning you take the plane to go to a destination, but then you find a way to surround yourself with other people. I do this one a lot because I have to travel for work, right? So a lot of time, let's say I'll go to a place, um, I take the plane by myself and I get there, but I do my schedule in a way that I'm always with people. So let's say on day one, I will go on a free walking tour, which can literally last, I don't know, two, three hours. Um, sometimes I do back to back free walking tours and then I would start with this tour of the old city and then I'll do a, an art tour, like a, like a walking tour outside with the wall art um the street art and then sometimes i even go crazy and tag a third tour you know what i mean or even if i just do one like ha like it happened to me when first time i was in belgrade be receptive to the people in the group talk to people strike conversation you know what i mean say hi and it happens every single time after the tour i talked to a couple of people and then we were in you know walking next to each other and the next thing you know oh you want to go for lunch oh boom and then here you go you go for lunch next thing you know you're exchanging instagram it's insane how it works or whatsapp and the next thing you know you meet up again tomorrow to go do that thing oh you wanted to go out at night but you don't want to go at night alone and then you meet up with that new friend you just made next thing you know you're traveling to their country to visit them my point is there's so many ways to do this you don't have to travel so solo or you don't have to be alone even if you take the plane by yourself there's many reasons many ways to meet people out there um another thing that you could do is what else did i say oh you can you can do, go look for a different interest group what i'm saying is um make new friends okay a lot of us have friends from high school days and then when you grow up you have disconnected you see you don't really have that many things in common with them and that's okay so it's time for you to make new friends you can make new friends you can pick your interests accordingly let's say some group tend to have a lot of people that like to travel for example i don't know if it's some adventure group right a hiking group or a camping group these people tend to organize a lot of group travel too. So that's also another way for you to make new like-minded friends. And you also wanna make, con you constantly wanna build new friendship. Of course, have like a small circle of close friends because we have limited energy to give away to people. That's just how we are as humans. But it's nice to constantly build your social circle that way you can, you know, cause friendship change and people get married they have kids they don't have time anymore and all sorts of things um so yeah which brings me to my point you know um 
don't restrict yourself in a certain group um i'm in my early 30s i don't i'm not married i don't have kids my group of friends is very varied honestly it's all over the place i have friends in their 40s i have friends in their 50s i have my best friend is like mid 40. i don't care about age it's about do we connect with this person and people have such interesting lives and they have a lot of things to teach you and what and and you know it's just just keep an open mind and lastly you can go on a group tour there are tons of group tours out there it doesn't have to be when we think of group tours we think about old school group tour you know one person dragging 50 people behind them and you know it doesn't have to be like that there could be so many group tours nowadays there's a lot of young people that are traveling young people physically young at heart there is so many group tours and hello i also do group tours you can join my group tours um i have a group tour coming up to turkey another one in we're going to serbia another group tour where we get to visit iceland i absolutely love that place um and one where we go to portugal lisbon and porto to enjoy the amazing portuguese vibe and i even have a dance retreat where i take you we meet up in malta in a private villa we dance i'm a dancer by the way i teach you how to dance and we enjoy our time so my point is you just have to look outside of the box there is tons 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 of option you don't have to see you don't have to feel like you have to force yourself to go on the tour i mean to travel by yourself solo if you're not interested to you can always travel as part of a group and meet up people in a gazillion different ways and in case you're interested in my tours you can check my website stephbarty.com and i'm gonna put some links below so you can join me on a tour or on my next dance retreat in malta all right, guys, catch you on the next one.